Okay, folks, check it out. We making compound chicken, right? Super easy. I want you guys to look. You can see I got a few ingredients here, but the first thing I'm gonna do is I already done wash my breast. I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this out of here. And what I wanna do is cut this down into bite-sized pieces, right? I hope you guys like the way I'm doing these videos now. I'm just getting right into them. You know what I mean? Cause listen, the holidays coming. Then plus we got family, friends over. Then we gotta feed ourselves and all of that, right? So I'm just cutting this down, getting right into it. Cause look, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our marinade, right? So what we wanna do is cut this down into like small bite-sized pieces. You can see I cut them down. I kinda like want them all to be the same though. You know what I mean? Cause I want this one to be ready along with this one here. But you see the difference? We gotta get that down. So let's cut it like this. There we go. We starting to get to about the same size. Now that I got them all cut down into bite-sized pieces, they kind of like range. I mean, who wants to get them all where they're the exact same size, right? So I have these here, right? So first thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this bowl here. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the marinade. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to these, the way these bowls are arranged. This is what I need now. This is my marinade. And the rest of it is sauces. And if I put a little space back here, that goes in at that time. I'm gonna need, so it's really like three phases. One, two, three. But I wanna show you guys, just it's real, real simple once you lay everything out, right? So now I'm gonna take this. Let's go ahead and add that in there. I'm gonna put my whisk in here now. Add my other. Now this right here is all going into my marinade, right? And then now that I'm moving this around, I just put a little bit in and I like to just give it a whisk. And now that I don't have any lumps, Right, everything is fully dissolved. Now I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of my infused olive oil. Look at this right here, folks. Yes, sir, and this is scallion. Sometimes I use scallion, sometimes I use uh, garlic. You know what I mean? It depends on what type of flavor I feel like when I refill. It comes up with like a little bit of a reaction because we put the cornstarch and all those ingredients in there, right? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bite-sized pieces and we're gonna put these in here. Now we wanna let these marinate for about 10 to, about 10 to 20 minutes. 10 minutes would be the least, that does work. Let me go ahead and clean this off, bring this over here. All right, so now you just wanna get in here and work this with your hand. You wanna make sure it's all covered, you know, completely covered, right? And this right here is gonna tenderize this chicken. Don't forget we got breast. Now, a question you guys might ask is, can we use uh, chicken thigh? Yes, you can. You know what I mean? I could have cut up boneless, skinless chicken thigh and done it just the same. But for these recipes like this, I love to use, you know, like the breast. Now, don't forget, the full ingredient list will be on my website. Now, that's smoking and grilling with AB.com, and that's W I T A B.com. Hey, and by the way, don't forget, like this video if you'd like to see this kind of content. Talk to me down in that comment section. Now, I'm gonna set this off to the side. We're gonna let that marinate, you know what I mean? I can't put it in the refrigerator, you know what I mean? You cover it with saran wrap, but by the time I get all of this ready to go, I'm showing you guys a simplified, you know, version of making this compound chicken, right? So now, remember these ingredients right here? We're gonna bring these right here, because look, they up next. Matter of fact, let's bring them here, here, here. Right, so this is gonna be the sauce. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna put everything in the inside here. Right, get my whisk. I like to have that, especially when I put anything dry in there, because it have a tendency to form, uh, it'll have a tendency to form like clumps, you know, lumps, right? So. So it'd be a good idea, folks, and best practices to make sure that you got the right tool for the job, right? So you see how I got a smaller spatula? You know what I mean? Because look, if we take the time to measure, we want to get all of the measurements in the inside. Then if you guys take a look over here to, I think it'll be to your right, right here my left, I keep my hot soapy water so that when I get through, I can wash these and knock these out. Now we whisk. The objective is not to get any lumps, right? You guys are like the fact that I simplify them and teach you guys how to just like measure them out, set them aside, you know what I mean, as you need them. And look, now we got our sauce ready. This is still marinating. I'll put that over there like that. That'll go in when this time is ready. So, and I'll see you guys probably in about another 15 minutes. All right, so once you got your sauce made, we already know we uh, started our marinade, right? To tenderize the chicken, get a little flavor in there also. So then what you wanna do is get yourself a bowl. Let me go ahead and start preheating my, my wok, put some fire under here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Some of you guys, you guys, if, you know, if you have it available, it's okay to go ahead and use uh, avocado oil, because you know the smoke point on that. 
is way higher than this because we're going to be using like a medium high flame. I'm going to drop all of this in there in just one second. So once you're hot enough, you know what I mean? You want to just go ahead and put your put it in just like you see. So what I'm doing now is just trying to get everything to be, you know, as flat as I can to get as much surface contact as I can. And we're just going to let this cook and then we're going to keep stirring this around until it becomes golden brown. Now this bowl that you see over here on this other side, once it gets golden brown and it's cooked completely, I'm going to take this out, put it in here, and we're going to set that to the side. When it's fully cooked, how do we know, right? I use a meat thermometer. I'm looking for 165, especially because of these are like the breast, right? This is breast meat. So let's stick this in there right there. You know what I mean? That went to 170. I'm going to turn this off. And then we're going to check just a couple of more. I'm looking for like the thicker ones. But look at that right here. Oh my goodness, y'all. These are going to be fire. I'll bring that around. Look, 160, 163, 165. That tells me all of this is, you know, good. Since that's done, I take myself a bowl, you know what I mean? And I just put this in here, right? So now we get ready to do our veggies. So anything that was left inside of the pan, you guys know that's called what? Exactly, fine. So these are hex clad, nothing really sticks. It might just like cook on there, but it'll really just wipe off, right? But that right there, if you ever had cotton pile, look at that right there. So now we got a half of a red and a half of a green, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down. Now I want you guys to notice the size that I cut these, right? I don't cut them down. Like we're not gonna do no dice like we normally do. This is gonna be really just for like the texture, right? So meaning being, when you do large, that's more so for texture and taste too though. But you know, when you do small, that's really for the flavor, right? So I'm gonna cut them down like that. And this is what you wanna have. You know what I mean? That's why we just do half. This is gonna give it some nice color, right? You guys will see. And some of y'all looking at this right now, like man, saying, I didn't know Kong Pao was that easy to make. It's really about the way you explain it, the way you set it up, and you'll have success, folks. Next, after prepping that, I just like to cut down my, there's no order, I don't know why I say it that way, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut my dry peppers, right? So, I know it's dropping some seeds, you know what I mean, and popping everywhere, but that's okay. All right, so since we took the chicken out, right, it left a little residue in here, and you know, it left a little fine, right? So I do take a paper towel and just wipe up whatever I can, whatever, you know, is in there that we're not gonna worry about it. We wanna put ourselves about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, whatever cooking oil, olive oil, or excuse me, whatever cooking oil that you would like. I'm just partial to this because this is made by Branch Vine, and anytime I use an oil, I like for it to be infused with that flavor. Right, so we're gonna bring this up to temp. Got a nice heat under there. Now you want to go ahead and just put the rest, you know, your bell peppers in there. Right, I'll start with these first. Right, let me go ahead and grab my wooden spoon. And then again, I like to move this around because this right here helps pick up any of the fine that's in, in your pan. <clears throat> right, next we're going to come with our chili and add that. Remember, I do seeds and all. Now, one thing I noticed, like whenever I'm using a wok, the heat is concentrated here. If I want things to stop cooking as fast, I move them out and away. You know what I mean? But right now, we want to go ahead and get these going. Right? Look at the color. All right, next, I'm going to come with my ginger. I'm going to grate this freshly, and I'm going to put it right here on top. Right, folks? So, we want to get about a tablespoon. Don't forget, graters, they grate one way. So, notice how I'm just taking it down. You know what I mean? I'm, I pick it up and bring it back and then I go back down. A lot of this is gonna be underneath the bottom, right? So I know that, I want you guys to know, just in case you don't see anything dropping right now, but when I do like that, there it is, freshly grated. Notice I put that on top, right? And I'm gonna do the same thing with my garlic. Add my garlic, I press. Whew. Love pressing garlic. All right, I'll move that around there, but I want to put my garlic on top, and especially my garlic rye, because I don't want it to burn. Now we can just move this around and cook this in. Oh yeah, look at that right there, folks. 
Now, usually I stir this for about three to four minutes. You know what I mean? Just keep going, treating it like a stir fry, right? Next, I still got my whisk in here, just making sure everything hadn't, none of my ingredients from my sauce has separated. It hasn't, you know what I mean? So then we want to pour this in here. Now what you want to do is you want to just keep stirring this, you know what I mean? And uh, keep it under that high heat, because what this is going to do is it's going to start to thicken. Once it starts to thicken, then we're going to reintroduce our chicken to it, folks. Real simple. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my green onion and we're going to chop these down. You know what I mean? Nothing like having that real onion up in there either. Then we like to see a little bit, you know, as a little bit of the garnish. Let's check our sauce. Remember, we waiting for it to thicken up. Look at that. Uh-huh. It's on its way. I'm going to let it get just a little thicker. Then we add the rest of our ingredients. Now we starting to get the thickness that I like. Watch this, when I come up over here and I see it kind of like works its way down, still trying to stick to the pan. Yes, sir. Now I'm gonna introduce my chicken to it. And then what we're gonna do is just stir this around. Now you'll see how the dish just starts to come together and be a little bit more on the familiar side of what you guys know, right? Nice and thick sauce. Look at that right there. Yes, sir. It's almost like magic, hunt huh? Once you put that chicken in there. I don't know if y'all can hear it. I got that smile on it, cause look, I like Kong Pao. You know what I mean? I didn't like to make it in the very beginning because I was making it a different way, but once you simplify it and put everything together the way I showed you guys in the very beginning, yes, sir. Look at that right there. All right, so those of you guys that had Kong Pao know that it has peanuts in it. You know what I mean? Uh, you can omit this if you would like. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna add a little bit to it. Then we're gonna come with our green onion. Now, I'm not gonna do the tops first. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the larger chops. You know, the bottom half, All right? Let's go ahead and get that mixed in there. How's it looking, folks? Y'all tell me. Now, I didn't turn my fire off if I hadn't said nothing already. But I just want you guys to pay attention to it, look at it. And I want to see you guys have the same success, folks. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I'm going to just take a handful of the tops and just add these in there, right? And that there, folks, is Kong Pao Chicken. Okay, folks, so here it is. I got to take some pictures of this. You guys have already probably seen a uh, version of it. You know what I mean? Because we voting on it, right? To find out which thumbnail looks the best. So what I did was I took my paper plate, got me a little rice on that, put some of this on the top. Listen, I'm not finna over talk you folks. We just finna get right in here and get us some con pow. Gotta get some of that chicken. You know what I mean? Some of the veggies. Let me just go ahead and get it like this. Ooh wee. Cheers, y'all. Yes, sir. Hold on. Now listen, I don't want to do all that long talking. I didn't put the hard work in and simplified it the best way I can. For those of you guys who have never, ever had Kong Pao, you better try this. Let me know. Come back and talk to me down in that comment section below. I promise you I'm going to talk back. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here to simplify these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And if you want to know why I'm laughing, because I got to get these pictures, and then I'm ready to eat, folks. Guess what? I'm out. Peace.